to another GCSE Economics video with me, Mr. Goff, for MrGoff.com. This video will focus on evaluating the policies used to correct externalities. The idea behind using higher taxes like excise duties is that the products they'll be placed on will have lower demand because they're more expensive. Alcohol and tobacco are addictive, so the extent to which this affects demand is limited because these have very inelastic demand curves. Black markets can arise to avoid high excise duties. Counterfeit cigarettes not only cost the government a lot of money in lost excise duty, but they can also contain harmful ingredients that are much worse for the health of people who consume them. Many of the trips people take in vehicles are necessary for things like commuting and transporting goods. These things are likely to continue even if fuel costs rise. So changes in fuel excise have a limited effect because only a certain number of the trips are discretionary where we might consider not taking them as the costs rise. Subsidies reduce the price of goods and services with positive externalities to encourage their consumption. The elasticity of demand for a product will greatly affect the change in quantity supplied. When we give subsidies to industries with elastic demand, there will be a much bigger change in consumption than to those in, with inelastic demand. Subsidies will also always have an opportunity cost. This will mean that different groups will differ in opinion on which areas should receive subsidies and how much subsidy they should receive. State provision ensures all people are entitled to basic health care and education. However, the quality of education may be affected by the area people live in with people in lower socioeconomic areas likely to have worse quality schools. This perpetuates the gap between rich and poor. While state provision ensures that healthcare is provided for free, there may be long waiting lists and it might be difficult to get in and see a GP. On the other hand, those that are able to afford private medical cover are able to get a much better service than other people, again, making a big gap between rich and poor. Legislation and regulation can definitely help to prevent negative externalities. However, it costs a lot of money to enforce them. In some areas, it's been very difficult to do. For example, with fly tipping, which has become an increasing problem, it's very difficult to secure a conviction. Any legislation and regulations introduced can only be effective as the ability to enforce them. Items that are illegal, like guns and drugs, may lead to the creation of black markets. Information campaigns aim to promote goods and services with positive externalities and reduce demand for those with negative externalities. How well received a campaign is will greatly affect its level of success. Campaigns to reduce consumption of things like cigarettes and alcohol will be limited because of the addictive nature of these products, so it's very difficult to appeal to people to stop using them. That brings us to the end of this video evaluating government policies to correct externalities. Join me in the next video when I'll be looking at international trade. Use the resources at mrgoff.com to help you revise economics. And until next time, it's bye for now.